So I've been back on the car for the last uh, two or three weeks, three weeks, and I uh, figured I'd put a video up, um, seen some comments. I know it's been a while. Uh, so the current status is this. Let's see here. And um, it's all done as far as the metal working, as far as I know. Of course, I'll find something. Um, just stripping the, the interior, stripping the back. Uh, dash is out. Got all the labels wired. Some wires labeled. Uh, steering column out. And so next will be the top of the dash, the windscreen, the harness, and then we'll move on and we'll uh, start taking all that out. I'll start stripping. You can see I've got a lot of work ahead of me, a lot of undercoating, a lot of rust. That's all going to be painfully painful to uh, to remove. Then I'll take the body off and. Probably do what a lot of other guys have done is build a cradle for the body so that you know once I finish scraping and grinding off the top, I can do the bottom, and then we'll work on the frame. But I uh, just wanted to kind of do this intro. I've got another like semi intro, and I've also got uh, issues. I've got a new Windows 10 laptop, and uh, I've not figured out what video editor I want to use. Uh, I'm using the default one, which is crap, and uh, so this video is going to be even worse than my other videos. So, uh, but I'll be figuring that out. And then I'll do a side video on uh, the steering column. So that's that. And uh, yeah, I've been back at it and motivated and having fun. So hopefully you guys have seen a lot more of me. Hey guys, it's Dave. I'm back at it, hopefully. Life, kids, and everything kind of getting in the way, plus getting sidetracked. And, uh,. But trying to get back at it, I got to finish this darn car if I ever want to do it. So I've done all six panels. I actually circled back and uh, redid the rear of this. This is where I'd uh, initially started, I think. Maybe I started in the front, but it was back when I wasn't quite as knowledgeable. <laughs> so I uh, went back and redid this area. I didn't like how this angle was. The the tail light wraps around here. And uh, I redid all that because it didn't match. Um, so now I'm going to. Uh, I bought a shed in the backyard. I threw all the panels in there. I'm going to put the uh, fuel tank, interior seats, that kind of stuff. You know, I don't know if you can see. I don't have a lot of room in the old garage. So I'd been. One of the things that kept me from getting back on it was where do I put this stuff? Well, I work on the on the tub and the frame. Then I just went out and got a big shed at Home Depot and uh, so we'll do that so I'm going to uh, remove these panels take the doors off uh, take that fuel tank out and uh, that'll be what I'll be working on now alright guys alright so the tank is out the filler cap is out this little guy's a pain in the ass to get out not too bad you gotta remove that before you get it out so next I will uh, drill out the, you see those top two rivets, remove that, and then take out all the tubing. Okay, so I uh, drilled out the evapor tank here. I'll mark those lines, and uh, just four um, rivets uh, to remove, and then there were two uh, pipe clips I had to get out of the way. All right, so I'm still working on the interior. Got the seats out. Uh, one thing I got to decide about this is, a, you know, basically for show, this roll bar. I mean, it's just attached into the the sheet metal. I mean, if it really were to be a a roll bar, it should go to the frame. So I'm going to disconnect that and decide if I want to have a roll bar. With holes in the in the back and go to the frame or not and so we'll cross the bridge when we come to it and then I'll just uh, you know keep stripping out the interior and then get the dash out of there all right so this is kind of just a document stuff so I don't forget what hoagie wiring previous owners and myself had done all right just taking more stuff all right, so we got the uh, roll bar out, 
of carpeting's coming out. Next, I think I'll uh, move that steering wheel. I've got the bolts out of the center console, and then I'll take up the dash. All right, well, it's uh, pretty hot here in the Bay Area, 106 in my garage in the shade. Doing more, stripping out the interior. Got the dash out, which was nicely refinished by the previous owners many years ago. Uh, instrumentation is out. Transmission cover. Uh, I guess next is the steering column. And, uh, I, you know, just keep plugging away. I gotta see where I gotta organize this. Ah, I should actually show you guys my shed. I'll do that. And, uh, or maybe I'll show the shed first in this video. We'll see. Anyway, just plug it away. Alright, so here's what's, uh, let me make a little space. Got myself a shed. Got some shelves, got some storage, got all my panels. And, uh, so yeah, that's been, uh, pretty good to, uh, give me room to complete the job in the garage. Alright. And this is mostly just to document how it came apart. It's like a shield here, 